I'm gonna show you in under 10 minutes how to build your very first iOS game. And we're gonna do it all with AI. No programming experience necessary. All you're going to need to build this app is Xcode and Cursor AI. I wanna build a space shooting game. Make the spaceship sprite detailed and look realistic. Give it wings and make it look cool. All right, that's sick. AI made these ships. I didn't design any of these ships. I think they look pretty cool. This is a game I would play. So starting off, download Xcode. It's in the Mac App Store. Search Xcode, download this. It's free. This is what allows you to build iOS apps and games. Super easy. Download that. Once that's good to go, go in here, open it up. This is the menu you'll see. We're going to choose game because we're going to be building a sick iOS space shooting game. Choose game. We hit next. We're going to call it space shooter game. Hit next on that. Give yourself an organization identifier. And then go ahead and create a folder that we can put this game in. I'm naming mine Space Shooter Game. I select that folder. It creates the game. We are good to go. Boom. Now we have our base game up and running. You can see that here. Now we're going to actually build the game. The tool we're going to use to build the game is called Cursor AI. It is the absolute sickest AI programming tool on planet Earth. Go to cursor.com. Download for free. Get that set up. We'll move on to the next step. Once you got cursor open, this is the screen you're going to see. What we're going to do first is we're going to open up the folder we just created Xcode so we can edit it with AI. So I'm going to hit open folder. Find the folder you just created with Xcode. Hit open on that. And then boom, we got this open up in cursor. We're going to start building the game out in cursor. It's going to show up. This is connected to Xcode. So any code that's written in here by AI is going to show up in Xcode so that we can run the game. So this is cursor. This is where we can build out our code. It might look complex at first. I'm going to make this really simple for you. Over on the left hand side is all your code for the game. You can open up the folders. You can see all the files. Again, you don't need to know code, so this is fine. What we're going to do is we're going to open up the composer. The composers are AI tool that will change everything for us. This will make it super easy to build our game. You hit command shift I that opens the composer. This allows us to talk to the code. Make sure we know what you want to type in is at code base. This makes it so the context of what it's building is all our code. So it can just write all the code for us. And then we're going to write our first prompt of what we wanted to build. So we're going to tell the AI and we're doing this all in plain English. Again, you don't need any technical knowledge for this. So here's the prompt we're going to do. I want to build a space shooting game. Let's do this step by step. First, I want to put a spaceship on the screen. Get rid of any code we don't need and just put a spaceship sprite on the screen. Make the spaceship sprite detailed and look realistic. Give it wings and make it look cool. So basically what we're doing is we're working with the AI here. We're going step by step with the AI. We want to make it as simple as possible for the AI. So we're saying get rid of any code we don't need. Let's put a spaceship on the screen. Let's make it look cool. And what we're going to do from here is we're going to do it step by step, make it simple and build out a really cool game. This is how you program with AI. You don't try to one shot and say, make a space shooter game, enter, right? What you want to do is you want to go step by step, keep it simple. One, it makes it more fun because you can make the game as detailed as you want. But two, it makes it easier for the AI to understand what you want. So once we put this prompt in, we're going to hit enter and the AI is going to start working for us. It's going to start building out our game. It's going to do exactly what we asked it to do. So our little AI employee is going to go, certainly let's start by modifying the game scene uh, and it's going to start building out the sprite. It's going to get rid of any code we don't need. It's going to put the spaceship in our assets folder. It's doing all the work for us. It's making it super simple. You're going to hit accept on this. Once you hit accept on that, it's going to take the code the AI built and actually put it into Xcode. So now this is up to date with all the new code for your game. And so what we can do here in Xcode is actually hit that play button. This is going to bring up a simulator that will run our game. So I'm going to hit play here. I'm going to pull over the simulator that just popped open. And wow, look at this. Okay. So it still says hello world. So it didn't get rid of all the code we don't need. But if you look here, there's a spaceship down here. What I, okay. So I click and it moves the spaceship around. The yellow is just from uh, my screen recording software, but it's moving the spaceship around where I'm clicking. That spaceship looks pretty cool. It's even giving a little wiggle wiggle, right? It's sitting there. It's wiggling back and forth. I like that. It makes it look realistic. This is a good looking spaceship. Now let's start building this out. Let's keep going. So let's go back into cursor and let's keep working here. First, let's get rid of that hello world. So I like that it still says hello world so I can show you how to debug things. So we just go to AI and I'm going to say it still says hello world on the screen. Can you get rid of that? Again, plain English, giving commands, telling it what's wrong and it's going to figure it out. I hit enter on that. It apologizes to me. I apologize for the confusion. I love when my AI apologizes to me. And then it's building some code to get rid of that hello world. So let's accept that. I pull open Xcode again. I exit it out of the simulator. I'm going to press play again. Let's replace it. And it's going to build out our game for us. I pull open the simulator and boom, there we go. Doesn't say hello world anymore. Our spaceship is there. I can move it around. 
That's sick. Okay, so now let's move on to the next steps. I'm thinking what we do is next steps. We make it so that the spaceship can shoot, right? Maybe we make it so that when I'm holding down the screen, the spaceship starts firing missiles forward. So let's do that. So I open up cursor again. Let's go in here. So I'm going to tell the AI, I want to make it so when I'm holding down on the screen and moving the ship around, it auto fires. It should be shooting lasers to this top of the screen automatically. Again, just telling it in plain English exactly what I want. Hit enter. It's going to start building out all the code for me. What you can see in the left-hand side is the code as it's writing it. Like, this would take hours to do if I was writing this code manually. It's doing it all automatically for us, which is so sick. Saving us so... We've already saved hours of time here in the first few minutes, which is amazing. So here's what it's going to do. It's going to add a bunch of states for us. It's going to add the lasers. It's going to fire the lasers. It's going to make sure it's firing when we hit, when we're touching the screen. I hit accept all. Let's pop open Xcode again and test, and test this out. I hit the play button. I'm going to replace it. Let's pop this open and see what we got. Okay, so we got the spaceship. And don't mind the yellow circle again. That's just my screen recording software, but it's auto shooting. It's auto shooting. That's sick. Okay. So we got the lasers. I think the one thing I want to do is let's make it so the lasers are a little bigger and fire a little faster. I want the lasers to be a little bigger and fire a little faster. So let's just quickly make that change. I want the lasers. So I told it I want the lasers a little bigger and shoot a little faster. That's going to write out the code for us. So it's going to adjust. Again, you can make these little tiny adjustments with your AI. You can say, I want this a little bit bigger. Move this over here. Change this color. Whatever you want. You can customize this game any way you want. That's the most fun part about this at the end of the day is you're truly the artist, right? I always loved to create stuff, but I'm a terrible artist. I draw terribly. Now I can be an artist because of AI. I can create the games. I can make it whatever I want. Even though I stink at art and I can't draw, I'm building cool games exactly the way I want to build them. So I hit accept all. Let's pop open Xcode again. Let's hit the play button again. Let's replace it. That builds out. Game loads. Oh, yeah. Now that's looking good. You can see the lasers clearly. They're shooting very quick. I like that. I like that. Next, we got to get some enemies on the screen, huh? Let's make this fun so we can kill some enemies with our spaceship. I'm going back in cursor. This is so easy. We're only a few minutes in and we got a pretty good functioning game already. This is the power of AI. In just a couple of minutes, we actually have a pretty sick game going. Okay, so I told the AI, let's add some enemies to our screen. Add evil looking spaceships that come from the top of the screen. I want them looking evil. Make them as detailed as our ship and make them fly at us. Hit enter. It's going to start building out that code. It's going to start building our enemy ships that we can start killing off here. Certainly, let's add some enemy spaceships in our game. We'll create a new function, generate enemies, and make them look detailed and have them move towards the player's ship. All right, this is going to be sick. This is going to be sick. It's building out all the code. It's building out the paths the spaceship's going to go on for us. It's going to create a bunch of them so they are all flying toward us, and it's going to spawn the enemies. All Again, hundreds of lines of code here being written for us. We didn't have to do a damn thing. I hit accept all. I can't wait to see this update. This is going to be a sick update. Are you excited to see this? If you're excited to see what these enemy ships look like, make sure you hit like down below. Make sure you hit subscribe as well. All I do is make cool videos showing you how to build apps with AI. No programming experience at all. And then also let me know down in the replies what apps you want me to build next. Every app I build is based on user feedback. Let's go back into Xcode. Let's hit the play button. Let's replace that. Our game pops open. Our spaceship is going. All right. We get any ships? Oh, there's the first ship. There's the first ship. Okay. So we can't kill anything. We can't kill anything, but it's coming at us. The spaceships are coming at us. All right. I like that. All right. Let's do this. Let's go back in. I think there's two things I want to fix here. I want to make it so the spaceships come quicker, so they come at you more, so there's more spaceships, and that they die when we shoot them. I want to make them disappear when our lasers hit them. So let's do this. Let's first make it so more spaceships are coming at a quicker pace. So I go back into cursor. I'm telling the AI, make it so enemy spaceships spawn sooner and come at me more often. Also make sure they make it all the way to the bottom of the screen. I want to make this a little bit more challenging. So the AI is going to make those tweaks for us. It's going to make those fixes very, very simple to do here. Again, I've only written like four sentences and we have an entire playable game so far. I take a sip of my coffee. And by the time I'm done with that sip of coffee, all the lines of code are already written for us. We're going to hit accept on that. Let's pull open Xcode again. Let's hit that play button. Every time I hit that play button, I feel like I'm opening a gift on Christmas. I'm getting a little bit more functionality in our game. It's very exciting. Here we go. Okay, more space. Oh, they're already dying to the lasers. All right, that's sick. It automatically knew we wanted to kill them with the lasers. Uh, that's awesome. Okay. This is cool. I think what we need to add next is we need to make this a little bit more of a game. We got to add a score to our screen. Ooh, I like that. I also shout out the AI. 
these ships look pretty cool, right? The AI made these ships. I didn't design any of these ships. I think they look pretty cool. This is a game I would play. Let's go back into Cursor. I want to make it before we add a score. Let's make it so the game can end if a spaceship makes it to the bottom of the screen. We want to make it so we can lose this game as well. If a spaceship makes it to the bottom of the screen, make it so we lose. Have a message pop up in red letters okay if a spaceship makes it to the bottom of the screen make it so we lose have a message pop up in red letters that says game over i want to make it so we can lose i want to add a little risk to the game make it a little bit more fun so it's adding to the game a game over screen that happens when the spaceship makes it to the bottom of the screen it's writing out that code it's checking for collisions it's checking for game over this is as simple as it gets right here updates the game and then spawns and stops spawning enemies once we lose let's accept that let's go back in all right let's hit the play button and see what we got here let's see what this looks like let's replace it it's loading up the simulator oh here we go okay oh wow oh let's kill that spaceship all right kill that spaceship let's see if it ends the game when it gets to the bottom boom game over oh that's sick and it flashes too that looks nice wow we got a pretty solid setup so far let's go let's add we gotta add, now we add the scoreboard now we gotta add the scoreboard look at these spaceships man these are good looking spaceships that ai ai is our artist man these are AI knows how to build some cool looking stuff. Let's do this. Let's go. Let's add the scoreboard. Let's go back in. All right. So I said I want to add a scoreboard to the top right. Make it so that every time I kill a spaceship, the score goes up by one. Now it's a game. Now we can track the high scores. Now we can see how well we're doing. Now when we put this on our phone, we can give it to our friends to play and see if we can beat them in this game. This is going to be sick. Let's do this. So the AI is working for us. It's building the code. It's generating the logic. We're not. We're just sitting here. We're doing nothing. We're just relaxing while our AI employee does all the work for us it's right in the code certainly let's add a scoreboard to the top right of the screen increment the score each time the enemy spaceship is destroyed we'll modify the game to, to file to implement the feature here are the changes it's adding the changes adding a score label this is going to be sick except here we go pop open x code let's hit that play button again let's replace that i can't wait to see now we're actually playing the game now we got a score here we go we're loading up the simulator all right so scores in the top right I killed one i'm three okay so it's got the score it works now I can just play this. Now I can just play it to my friends. I can play the game. Load this up on my iPhone. Goes to my hand this to my friend. See if I can beat them. If I beat them, I I style on them. I dance on them. I can prove once and for all I'm better than all my friends. This is really, really sick. Think about it. You now have the ability to impress all your friends, show them that you can build apps. AI is letting you look like a brainiac now, right? Before you had to be a genius to build this stuff. Now you can do it all yourself. If you enjoyed this video, if you learned anything in this video, make sure to hit like, subscribe, and let me know in the replies what else you want me to build. If you want me to show you how in next videos to ship this in the app store so anyone can buy it off the app store and you can start making money off it, let me know down below as well. And I'll see you in the next video.